Um, well, you've just mentioned, in fact, that you're down here in Toronto. In fact, it's a very sort of brisk visit because you're down, I believe, Torquay tomorrow night, isn't it? Yes, we're doing two shows here tonight and two uh, at Torquay tomorrow and then back to London. So it is really a very brisk visit, a very quick one. And I'm glad uh, we took in Taunton because it's not often have the opportunity of working here. And it's a lovely town. Uh, I brought my wife with and my little boy, Andrew. It's my youngest son. Unfortunately, the last time I was here was a rather sad occasion because um, I have horses in training quite close to here. Oh, well, that's right. Tutan yes. Mendip. Mm. Uh, and they're, they're chasers. And we had a horse entered at Taunton two years ago, and we thought it was very, very fit. It was particularly fit, the horse. Uh, so much so that it was very wasp waspish uh, bodied, and a heck of a job to tie the girth uh, strap. And uh, my jockey, my shizzo, my trainer, um, forgot the breast uh, strap which stops the saddle sometimes riding down the horse uh, and he felt sure that everything was okay and we got the jockey on the horse and they looked a, a perfect match and in fact comes the last fence <clears throat> the horse must have been at least 20 lengths ahead it was an absolute walkover and we were cheering and very very happy and he took a mighty leap at the last fence and the jockey went up in the air off the horse and the saddle had obviously slipped and came down round the back legs of the poor horse, and it came in lame, which was a very, very sad occasion. Um, it was rather a sad occasion. This is a much happier occasion. Exactly, yes. Two very nice shows, nice people. You mentioned it's a show tonight. In fact, it's more of a, a concert-type show, a, a touring show tonight. I know you do, obviously, you do clubs, you do television work. Which is your favorite medium? Live shows. I'm just completing a series of one-hour musical spectaculars for Southern Television, which are going to be networked, I would think, probably in November sometime. It's been a very, very hard summer for me because to do an hour show, it takes a very long time. And a lot of rehearsing, a lot of music. You can imagine the amount of music that goes into an hour's performance. I must sing at least, I don't know, 12 or 14 numbers in each show. It's a lot of work. But I do prefer working to live audiences. Um, thinking about this, watching the first performance, I was just wondering, it must be rather difficult at times going around playing different types of clubs, different venues, different concert tours. Um, I know you've got your own musical director who probably travels with you all the time, but you've got to fit in with different types of backing musicians. Is this sometimes very difficult? Well, in my particular case, um, we don't fit in with um, different backing groups. I carry my own musical director, my own drummer, and the bass player is generally the same guy with me. And as it so happens, the guitar player, Johnny Wiltshire, is one of my favorite guys. And he fixes the rest of the band for me. And the, the, the guys who played with me uh, time and time again. And this particular tour, uh, most of these people are with me all the time. So I don't have any much hassle with the boys. As you heard, they're yes, very confident. Yes. They make a very good noise without, without it being too blasting. Yeah. I know you've got a great interest in charity work, especially boys clubs, etc. Well, I'm president of the NBC and have been for about 14 years. Yep. And before you came along this evening, I did an interview for the NBC members. And there's a very big meeting of the Avon Bristol Federation of Boys Clubs soon, where they're welcoming into the complete association new members. And I won't be able to be there. So they taped me talking to the new members, welcoming them. And I told them what I was up to. And in fact, I'm going to Hull in a couple of weeks' time to raise funds for boys' clubs in Hull. I'm putting on a very big show there. Um, last month, I was up in Newcastle, the Northeastern Boys' Clubs, where we got Muhammad Ali to come over oh, four days. Yes, yes, right. <clears throat> we, ra we raised many thousands of pounds. I put a personal show on and dinner and ball, which he attended. And he went around all the boys' clubs in Tyneside helping out. Um, my main purpose of Boys Club is raising funds from all over the country. Finally, as I know you've got to get back on stage again for your second show, I know one of your hobbies is fishing. Yeah, well, I, I love fishing. Uh, I'm very keen on angling, and especially in this part of the world. Um, it was rather strange last night in the hotel. On the menu were what they called salmon trout from Clapworthy. 
<laughs> I don't know why they call them salmon trout, but they are trout, and I fish clap worthy, and I love fishing there. I've caught some nice trout there. Um, and of course, Blankton in Chew Valley is very, it's a very lovely place which I enjoy fishing. That's where we, we train our horses. So I, I love this part of the world very much, Ken. You know, I, I do love the West Country, and uh, I've often thought of living down here. I'm reminiscing now of the. Uh, I keep saying this time and time again, but maybe one day um, I'll own a little property down here where there's a bit of stretch of nice fishing. But I do love fishing. I'm very fond of fishing. Do you have much time for it these days? No, unfortunately, no.